of the Carcharodontosaurus from Discovery's Dinosaur Planet, a massive hulking predator that posed a threat to our protagonist and antagonist throughout the episode of Alpha's Egg. For the layman, this will go by their heads without any question. However, for paleo experts and enthusiasts alike, this was quite confusing. The reason being why was because Carcharodontosaurus was never discovered or known to live in South America. It was known to live in the lush swamp-like habitat of Africa during the early Cretaceous period. However, with the passage of time, we now know that the dinosaur that this African time-traveling migrant was actually meant to be was unlike any carnivorous dinosaur that had lived in South America, being equipped with massive claws on both its hands and being the top predator of its ecosystem, I present Arostion, the South American Carcharodontosaurus that never was. Discovered in the year of 1996 with a tight specimen consisting of some cranial bones, a number of partial or complete vertebrae from the neck, back and front of the sacrum, up to several cervical and dorsal ribs, gastralia, fucula, wishbone, a left scapula coracoid, a left ulnum, and a left and right pubis were found as well. The type specimen, interesting enough, shows signs of incomplete fusion in some of the bones, indicating that the dinosaur wasn't fully grown. Isolated teeth were initially described to the dinosaur, but it turned out it belonged to an abelosaurid, so I guess our new dinosaur had no dentures to fan those jaws. Despite its discovery and naming back then, it was unknown what this dinosaur even was at the time. It appeared to researchers and paleontologists that this dinosaur was something special and new to the continent of South America, due to the fact that most discovered theropod dinosaurs were spinosaurids, bellosaurids, and carcharodontosaurids. Orosteon is a large predatory dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, around 84 million years ago during the Santononian stage. Measuring up to 25 feet long and weighing up to 1.1 tons, this dinosaur belongs to the family known as Megaraptora, a group of dinosaurs that belong to the superfamily of Tyrannosaurida. To be more precise, Orosteon is a relative of now considered non basal Solorosaurus, meaning that these dinosaurs are more closely related to birds than carnosaur theropods such as Giganotosaurus, Maposaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and Tyrannotitan. Living in the late Cretaceous period, Orosteon would have encountered many different creatures that were in its ecosystem. Stomping high and tall were Titanosaurian sauropods such as Lamplantosaurus, Nebrua Titan, Barosaurus, and Nequenosaurus. Medium-sized Stratosaurian theropods, including a Belosaurus and an Ochosaurus, were equipped with strong, powerful bites capable of delivering a decisive blow to any small, weak, and sick animal. Multiple species of mammals were common here as well, and they scampered out of the way of the dinosaurs, avoiding their avian and reptilian overlords at all costs. The small ornithopod, Gasparinosaura, dodged and dipped out of the way of pursuing predators, and the terrestrial Crocodilomorpha, Gasparinosuchus, a prehistoric, waltzed along the ground, minding the business that paid it. For our Megaraptorid, here there was certainly enough food to go around, and possibly on few occasions did it compete for the food against other theropod dinosaurs. I'm not saying that there was no stealing of carcasses, but I'm not saying that Orosion was South America's equivalent of Jurassic Fight Club's Allosaurus either. It's possible that Orosion had feathers due to its new classification, but it's unlikely due to the fact that South America had humid and very hot environments during the late Cretaceous period, but nevertheless, it's always good to speculate at least. What was once thought to be a large flesh tearing giant that hunted sauropods alike has now carved its persona as being part of a weird group of vicious killers armed with sharp, large claws on their hands and living alongside massive titans of the Cretaceous period. With the passing of time, I hope that with new discoveries we can learn so much more from these predators of the ancient past. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more from my channel, make sure to comment down below your ideas. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, and if you didn't, leave a dislike, and I'll see you in the next one very, very soon.